All right, so I have a normal looking rail staircase for you. And if I push a button, I'll go. And as you see, a whole bunch of piston things happen. And I went through it instead of up and over it. And um, just to demonstrate that you can go up and over it. There you go. Now, you may be thinking, Zomitu, didn't you already do a video on this? And I made something similar a couple weeks back. This is, um, it's a rail staircase. Also, looks perfectly fine and normal if, of course, you use walls. But when I open it, it goes down instead. Uh, this one goes straight and horizontal um, synonyms are fun and if I push this button you will see that I could just walk through and I didn't go up and I didn't have to go down or anything so choose which one you'll like or which one is more useful in your circumstances and I'll provide a link to that one in the video description so I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then I'll be back with the tutorial all right guys, I stripped it down to its bare bones, which is kind of hard considering everything is quartz. Just a little bit. I may have a teensy problem with color coding. Just a tiny bit. But um, uh, just to show you it still works, there's the open position and here's the closed. Note that you will need to build this in directions 1 or 3, and that's because of this guy right here. Give it a second. Here. So as you see, that one's diagonal to that one, but they're not connecting. However, in directions 2 and 1, they will connect. I mean, not 2 and 1. 2 and 0, they will connect like that, which is not what we want. And as a result, we can only build it in 1 and 3. Now, if someone wants to try and make a version, um, you're going to need fancy double piston shenanigans and stuff. And I wish you luck. Now, I'm going to show you how to place the rails first and then the rest of the pistons. And you're going to need a bunch of pistons, let me just tell you that. So there's your... Um, regular way that you'll go up and then this down here is the secret path that will lead to your diamonds or whatever uh, diamonds are so stereotypical um, you're gonna need a normal piston there and then normal piston hold on give you a second there now th so far it looks pretty similar to my other rail staircase and then here's where it slightly varies you're gonna need a sticky piston there instead of a regular one and then you could use a regular one here it doesn't matter and then on this side you're gonna need regular piston and another regular piston so three of sort of the same thing except that one is a sticky piston now you're gonna need to come under here see there's this little hole go uh, place a piston right there and then uh, that's sticky piston by the way this is also a sticky piston now you're gonna need two more there and there and then put blocks on those actually that one doesn't need a block and then on this side have a regular piston and that is it for the rails and pistons and that was a lot of them so here is your input block right there and I'm gonna put a lever right there now have a hopper dropper monostable here's my comparator put that there that there I, I really don't know what to say whenever I'm just placing blocks randomly uh, in previous videos I used to talk about my life story and I don't I ran out of stories because my life is pretty boring I stay home all the time so yeah I actually got sick the other day but uh, sucked here you need a two tick repeater going into a weird torch tower sort of thing and there and there now on this side you're going to need uh, another torch going into a repeater with dust and another torch like that and as you see right now it's getting pretty fucked up and you can't do anything about that until pretty much the end when you stop screwing with stuff. Now I'll show you how to fix it so don't worry. You're going to need a regular repeater there no delay, extra delay or anything and that, that just wraps around like that going into a repeater on two. Now over here you're going to need another piston with a repeater on too. So a lot of pistons. Um, sorry, I can't do anything about that. All of this is necessary. So have another torch tower. I seem to be enjoying the torch towers. And then have a dust with on a half slab so it doesn't power that, but it does power that. Now over here you're going to need a redstone torch going into, yet again, another hopper dropper monostable. And you're probably tired of me saying that, but nothing I can do. And then my comparator, there we go. Going that way. And then, guess what? More torches. Yay! Torch there, torch there. And then, this is actually done. So let me grab my rail and show you how to fix it. First of all, you're going to need to see whether... Actually, you've probably followed me, so it should look something similar to that. Place that block there. Have a 
thing there, have another thing there, and a thing there. Right now it's being very descriptive. Have another thing there, a thing there, a thing there, and then replace that thing with that thing, and you should be good. So click that lever, and then you're going to need another thing there. <laughs> and closing, opening, closing. Now this thing is pretty complicated. More things. Wonderful. So, uh... I don't know, I hope you guys stick around, because the way YouTube works now, you have to watch like half of the video before it actually registers it as a view, but of course if you guys just wanted the tutorial, you should leave. Now what happens first is this hopper dropper monostable activates and then um, goes through here and it pushes this piston uh, and that piston there, but that doesn't matter since it's being constantly powered by that guy anyway. So as you see there, it's being constantly powered. So that doesn't really pulse, it just stays extended. And then over here, it, this torch pulses that one and that one. So this, this, and this, and the corresponding rails just push to the side. And then over here, um, this repeater will turn off this. Now this block over here is in your way, as you see. Um, you can't get through without it. However, it needs to stay extended for an extended period of time because this rail is resting on it. And as I said before, in the previous uh, staircase video, uh, rails do not like blocks underneath them moving. So this needs to stay extended. And then this over here um, prevents this guy from activating too early because stuff happens. I don't. I actually don't know why I needed that. Oh wait, no, I know why. Um, it needs to push this way and then back because similar to what's happening here, um, it goes from an angled rail to a flat rail and that also requires shifting back and forth. Now um, that's pretty much it on this side except for here where this repeater is powering that piston, um, it's being butted and then uh, that'll re uh, not retract but this piston will um, push the rail forward after this retracts so that's all good and then over here this repeater um, loops into that and powers this like I said earlier but it also powers this hopper dropper and that'll push this back so um, there, as you see it just pushed it back like that and then it also um, pushes this one over here and this just pushes the rail from there to there because also like I said earlier it has a similar situation to this one where it goes from an angled rail to a flat rail. Now um, there's one more thing that happens and then this just keeps it extended um, so uh, what do you call it has um, time for everything to move because this piston also holds the block right there as you saw that block came from underneath and that holds that rail and that rail so kind of necessary to have that to extend the delay. Now that was really long and I'm tired so too lazy to do an outro, goodbye.